Flex. Welcome to Friday Flex. Uh, this is uh, Keith and Joseph, and uh, welcome. <laughs> Hopefully, you all are having a good week. This has been a couple crazy weeks. I'm sorry I didn't see you all. We didn't see you all last week. Uh, we just had, uh, Ebony and I just had the baby uh, on last Tuesday, and so we've been in the hospital, and, but things are getting much better, and yes, so um, I wanted to actually share, uh, so today's flex is mind over matter, and using negative, negativity positively, mm-hmm. and so some of the things that I'll share with you are, are the birthing experience. Uh, from the husband's perspective, <laughs> and the um, push, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember. Did you, I don't know if you remember the uh, Bill Cosby, uh, the the stand up. Like, push him out, shove him out, push, way. push, push. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I think it was like what 1984 or yeah. something like that that came out. Really good. I, yeah, I that was good. It. I thought that was good. Then, yeah. So. The um, so one of the things that there's there's actually several experiences that that I thought were very uh, phenomenal and also shocking and he said don't tell that story <laughs> <laughs> so um, so one of the experiences that I was having or I was witnessing during childbirth is like for example. Uh, my wife was in in her mind. She had these she had these lists of things that were supposed to that she didn't want or that she wanted to make sure of uh, didn't happen, hmm. you know. And and for example, one of those was well, nah, I can't share that one. But there there were <laughs> there, <laughs> there were times in which um, you know she wanted to. She had this kind of grand idea of how the the child birthing experience was going to be. Now, mind you, this is both our first child, so we had no prior experience other than being born. Other than being born, <laughs> and that was that was almost forty years ago. <laughs> and, oh, what? <laughs> and so, so I don't remember. I don't remember much of what happened, um, but you know, we got to, we got a chance to see what what it was going to look like hmm. and so the there's a couple experiences that that come to mind and when the body is experiencing a level of pressure or a level of trauma because even though it's a beautiful experience it's a traumatic experience because you're pushing a human being out of a canal that's um, normally human beings don't just come out all the time, you know. Uh, so it's especially for the first time, it's it's extremely difficult. So it's a traumatic experience. So my my wife wanted to maintain decency and and also uh, wanted to just be as smooth and as graceful as possible. And she did it gracefully. There was one experience in which she, uh, uh, she was trying to cool herself down. So she said, now anybody who knows my wife knows my wife is very gentle, very sweet. That goes out the window during pregnancy. Everybody knows that. Like the, anybody that was generally sweet and kind and, and Meek, <laughs> <laughs> like a little lamb. <laughs> that that just uh, it disappears. So during one during one uh, part of the the birthing process, I'm talking to her, <laughs> and I'm just like, "Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great." I'm just just talking. She says, "Close your mouth." <laughs> like, okay, dear, I'll close my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, grab some ice. You grab a leg. You grab my other hand. And so she's grabbing ice, chewing it, spitting it out in the water. And she was like, more ice. <laughs> and so, and so I'm I'm witnessing this 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 
sweet woman develop a new person, uh, a, a new personality in the process of, of, of pushing out? Again, the, according to time, place, and circumstances. Yes, yes. They shut Kalapatra in Sanskrit, you know, time, place, and circumstance. So I'm witnessing her confirmed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm witnessing her just become this general on the battlefield of birth because wow. she's, she is, in a sense, her persona is changing. She is uh, the, confirmed again. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, y'all. I think we missed one, you know, Friday, and so, you know, that just. Yeah, we got to get multiple confirmations from the, yeah. the train. <laughs> See if you got any more left. All right, so I think that's done. So, so my wife, who is normally very, uh, for things that are difficult or you know experiences that are, are uh, kind of messy, I'm normally the the equalizer, right? I'm I'm normally handling things. Um, like Denzel Washington. Like Denzel Washington. Oh dear. <laughs> so I'm 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 talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm normally the one that, that does the dirty work. But my wife, she during during the, the process, yes, uh, like her survival instincts came, her, her her military instincts came. Get on this leg, keep him in the bathroom, get him out the bathroom and bring him here. Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> so so I'm I'm so I I am I'm having multiple experiences because I'm in awe and I am also just amazed. And at the same time, I'm seeing this very timid person develop uh, skills that were kind of withdrawn for a period of time. And, you know, like it was mentioned in the comment section, her, her survival instincts kicked in. And it's it validates the whole process of this NLP kind of technology that we, we, we've been talking about is because uh, the mind is like is a computer, is a, a very highly advanced computer. The mind actually made the computer, so that to give reference. And so, so when the when the mind sees or understands that the situation has changed, the circumstances changed, the time has changed. So what we must do has to change. And so uh, we see this in all forms of, of, of life. And I, I think we were talking about the, uh, how crickets can transform into locusts. It's a fascinating idea uh, on, on, how this, on how that happens. And, and that's according to time, place, and circumstance as well. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Everything actually does that. Trees. Herbs like basil, you know, certain plants, they'll, depending on the conditions, if maybe there's not enough water, like a drought, mm -hmm. if it's not enough sunshine, not enough nutrients in the soil, <clears throat> they'll do a, what is called bolt, which is mm -hmm. like, they'll just, okay, we just need to bolt, you know, let's go ahead and take all the vital nutrients, put them into the roots, store them there, drop all your leaves, like you see in the fall, mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. the leaves change color mm -hmm. and, and, and they drop their leaves and so forth like that. Every plant, every animal, every being does that. Yeah. yeah. Instincts. Instinct. Going back to yeah, instincts. Going yeah. back to instincts. Mm -hmm. And it becomes, and it, it wasn't like this, I, I think about sometimes um, Dragon Ball Z as it used to be one of my favorite uh, TV shows. She went Super Saiyan. <laughs> she, went, <laughs> she went Super Saiyan. <laughs> and so, and so she, um, so there's this, this one experience during, uh, uh, well, let me kind of backtrack. So, so my wife would, um, so when she was younger, she would have um, very bad stomach cramps. And she said, you know, and in her mind, it was, she was thinking, oh, yeah, uh, I experienced cramps, so labor couldn't be much more difficult than cramps. Mm. 
-hmm. And I remember mm -hmm. the, it was Monday, it was Monday night. And it was in, no, sometime Monday. And I get a phone call. She says, come home now. And I said, okay, I'm coming home. And she was like, this is nothing like that. <laughs> you know, these, these, these labor, mm -hmm. these labor pains were, were nothing like, you know, cramps. Mm -hmm. It was maybe the PG version or, or of, 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 of labor. Mm -hmm. And so she's realizing that her body is doing something uh, in order to prepare for new life. And in, prepar in preparation for this new life, it's going through some heavy changes. Yeah. And yeah. of course, as I, as I mentioned earlier, this is our first child. So as I'm seeing everything happening, the, uh, what's happening to the body is the body's creating pressure to push the child down. Mm -hmm. And so... The abdomen is contracting and everything is is happening in such a way for this new life to come into this world. And while this is happening, there's a chemical process happening within her body and in her mind also. And she is now no longer worried about decency, you know, uh, who sees her in whatever condition. Uh, who she tells to shut up, who she drags from the bathroom, who she, you know, to grab this leg, grab that leg, grab both legs, give me some ice, too much, you know, more. And, and so it was, I was thinking we, we are all, when the conditions are right within every person, we have to, we transform. Mm -hmm. And I remember this, phrase that uh, good times make for uh, uh, good times create weak men or weak society and there was and then hard times create strong strong people uh, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so there's more to that I have to uh, I have to remember where that's the entire uh, phrase but pretty much when we're experiencing a level of difficulty, is that level of difficulty that allows us to develop new characteristics, new attributes, new qualities. And it puts us in a position where our mental computer has to change, it has to adapt. And when our mental computer doesn't allow us to adapt, then we, we freeze or we can short circuit or, you know, <laughs> just don't pop a fuse. <laughs> just don't pop a fuse. <laughs> you know, um, I was I was thinking uh, what was that movie back in the early is it early nineties or late eighties Short Circuit? Oh yeah, Johnny Five. Johnny Five Alive. I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> and so we we have this we what we don't. What we don't know is that these experiences in life, which are sometimes difficult, are meant for our uh, uh, growth. Just like the caterpillar. caterpillar, caterpillar. Uh, what uh, what is that? Is it metamorphosis? Is that you that's, got it. that's the uh, He's a big word? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eastside. Uh, Detroit, Detroit education here. <laughs> so the metamorphosis uh, uh, starts to happen. And this transformation, and as uh, mentioned earlier, the adapting or the, the instinctual habits are developed. Mm -hmm. And it's only until the right time is there. And so I was making this Dragon Ball Z reference in the sense that um, I remember the first time the character, uh, the main character Goku, uh, turns Super Saiyan. And this, uh, for those that haven't watched Dragon Ball Z, it's a, it's a, it's a glorified position of, uh, of elevation of one's physiology and, and so many things happen, metamorphosis. In terms of that Super Saiyan? Yes, the Super Saiyan. Or maybe an, to add to that, if you've seen the movie Last Dragon, ah. it's about obtaining that glow. The glow. 
the glow. The Bruce Leroy glow. The Bruce Leroy, <laughs> Bruce Leroy green. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's Super Saiyan, obtaining your yeah, glow. Obtaining the glow. Yeah. And so what, um, so what happened was the first time, and I remember this because I was, I was like, one day he's going to turn Super Saiyan. And there was a great loss he had encountered. And so it was this level of, of anger or this level of uh, being distraught. Mm -hmm. And it was like this streak of lightning. And all of a sudden, this quality, which was inherent within himself, was unlocked. And within this unlocked characteristic, so many different things were, were happening. And he was now achieving his optimal level of performance. And so it is through this, oh, we got a visitor. Uh, he's waiting to turn into a locust. So we've, we have a, a cricket problem and uh, they are, they have no uh, mm, coof. So then, <laughs> <laughs> so they just they just just walk around like they they own this place, <laughs> and then uh, the way and turn to locust, and so we, we have residents here. Anyway, sorry I got sidetracked. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> you were <laughs> you were pointing out how uh, Goku has this. It was inherent qualities that because he became distraught for a particular situation, mm. he was able to go through that metamorphosis, mm -hmm. obtain that glow, Super Saiyan, and that's what you were mm -hmm. kind of discussing or going into yes. that. Yes, so this, uh, these experiences that, that happened to every one of us, requires us to transform. And so even as a caterpillar, uh, I, there was a nice little uh, meme that, that circulating on social media, on the internet, where there's a picture of a caterpillar and a picture of a butterfly. And, um, and so, what ended up happening is in the in the photo it says the cater, caterpillar is is telling the butterfly you've changed and and the butterfly says of course we're all supposed to we're all supposed to evolve and uh, and so sometimes within that oh yes Krillin died yes Devin mentioned the that's what happened to the Goku mentioned the oh, Goku turned oh, Super Saiyan oh, Krillin okay. Krillin died oh yeah yeah, yeah. yes. Thank you. Um, and so when we have this um, experience with some, some friends or family members where they're like, hey, you changed. Generally, it, it's they were used to us acting one way, and now it's a, it's a different way, or uh, our response. Mm -hmm. And I remember, and in, in, in some, some of you all may have had a relationship in which normally you would have responded with anger, but instead of responding with anger, you respond with peace, hmm. or you respond hmm. with a level of calmness. And that level of calmness scares the other person. It's like, what happened? Well, why aren't you reacting the same way? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> They start freaking out, they, basically. They, they, start, they start freaking <laughs> out. It's like, you've changed. Why? Yeah. <laughs> and, and it becomes, uh, for them, it's devastating yeah. because this, this person that they're used to, the person that they're used to having this kind of head-butting mm -hmm. kind of response to is now no longer responding in such a fashion. And it, and it's, it, it catches them off guard. And so... What's happening is we understand that by getting as angry as we were before, we're exhausting so much energy. Yeah. 
we're taking so much time away from constructive things mm -hmm. and turning them into de uh, destructive yeah, things. Yeah, destructive, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, and that's the, the, the funny thing is, is after they may have said everything they wanted mm -hmm. in whatever fashion they may have wanted to say it in, mm -hmm. and we're just stewing on it. Yeah. We're spending hours, days stewing on what mm -hmm. somebody has said to us mm -hmm. When they're perfectly fine, they're 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 out here eating, uh, living their best life, <laughs> as they would, as one would say. They're out here living their best life while we're stewing yeah. on what they're saying. That energy in which they they have transferred to us, mm -hmm. because we have not transformed, right. we are transmitting what they we're receiving what they transmitted. Now now we're transmitting it to everybody because yeah. you know we have this. And it is this idea of needing to or seeing, okay, this is not the best use of time. This is emotionally, this is not the best use oh, it's draining. of draining. Uh, hmm? uh, it's draining. Draining, you know? yeah, emotionally draining. It's exhausting. It's emotionally exhausting. And so when we are dealing with those people that have not mentally evolved, then we see the how irritating it is for others to see us in that changed state. Mm -hmm. And so, but a lot of times we have to have these experiences to realize, okay, I don't need to respond in this way. I don't need to react in this way. Mm -hmm. And it is that, it is that circumstance that allows generally allows a change and, and, and depending on how severe, how dynamic that circumstance is. Like, for example, I have a, a good friend of mine um, who is, you know, who's battled, you know, cancer. And I remember speaking to her and she was mentioning that the things I used to, to put so much importance to they don't matter as much. Hmm. They, do, they don't have the same weight as I used to give them. Mm -hmm. The level of, the hierarchy of importance mm -hmm. is no longer there. Mm -hmm. wow. Because it is, it is this idea that there is more things more important. My health, my peace of mind is more important than whatever situation that I'm, I'm dealing with right now. Mm -hmm. And it is these situations in life that force us to have a reality check. And so through the process, as I was, we were talking about, uh, my experience of the witnessing childbirth is that all these things that we thought about or that we, we hold, we held dear, they go out the window when the time the, the, the necessity for action is there. And so, you know, my, as my wife is jumping from the pool to the bed to the shower to the pool to the bed to the shower, she's not caring who's seeing her in whatever condition. She's like, this baby's coming and whatever, whatever I need to do mm -hmm. by any means necessary. I think, uh, bam, you know, uh, Malcolm X would say, by any means necessary, and sometimes when we are forced into a position, that is the only conclusion that we come to, by any means necessary, we have to do this. And that's when a lot of change happens, when we, we realize the doctor gives us, okay, you gotta change your diet, you have to mm. change your, you have to exercise, mm. okay, you have to um, spend more time with family, less time mm. on these little devices and all these other things. Yeah. I've been talking so much. Please share what. what uh, no, no worries. Um, so there's a few different things I'll mention. The first thing I'll start with is um, those unique situations or uh, experiences that we have that could have been stressful, traumatic, something that made us either frustrated or angry or distraught. Um, where we 
would need to undergo that metamorphic process. Mm -hmm. And another way of looking at that metamorphic process, we can call that graduating. Mm -hmm. We cannot, as you gave the beautiful example, the caterpillar looking at the butterfly and saying, hey man, you've changed. We're supposed to change. <laughs> and it's true, we're not supposed to remain stagnant. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to remain with the same mental map that we had when we were five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, wow. <laughs> 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 we are actually supposed to continue growing and development Oops. and developing I should say mm -hmm. thus personal development yeah. thus yeah. flexing so growth um, progress development it's supposed to happen mm -hmm. you know why do we love flowers so much because we love the whole especially people who have a green thumb or a green hand mm -hmm. They love the whole process of when you plant that seed and how it transformed from that little seed mm -hmm. that it sprouts, little roots are there, leaves. You know, you have a nice bud and then that bud blossoms into a beautiful flower and then if it's a fruit bearing tree, it produces fruits, mm -hmm. you know. So that whole process mm -hmm. of growing and developing, we're not supposed to remain stagnant. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to continuously grow and learn. Mm -hmm. um, so that is one point that I wanted to make. Uh, the other thing is that, and it may slip my mind, but um, it's still associated with this growth and development that, just give me one second here. Um, well, while you're thinking about that, yeah. uh, yes. So. I was thinking we should, we should not stay in the dirt. Um, as we've been planted on this earth, it is our duty to, to grow, to blossom. Okay, Continue. okay. Yeah. Um, so it is this, if you ask anybody, he says a green thumb, or even those who are into the uh, growing of uh, just a certain plant. Even uh, just raising children. Raising children, yeah. And, and so we want growth to happen. And so it will be naive and also short-sighted or short-minded to think that um, we should not make changes. We should not evolve. But, so, so with this evolving... <clears throat> A lot of times, or shall I say for most people, we don't want to evolve because we're afraid of who we actually really truly are. Hmm. It's the fear of oneself. Just like the caterpillar, it didn't just reach its fullest potential at that moment because it's in a pupa stage. What does the word pupa mean? Pupil student. Hmm. So it's in a learning stage, you can take it, mm -hmm. if you look at it from that perspective. Mm -hmm. So it did not, again, become that butterfly yet. So it's in those stages as a pupa, a little larva continuing on, that if we stop, stunt our growth, mm -hmm. we will never reach our fullest potential. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is actually one person, I'll have to look it up afterwards, mm -hmm. but there's one person that actually wrote a beautiful poem, and there was that movie called Coach Carter uh -huh. with Samuel L. Jackson, and then in there, part of that poem is quoted there mm -hmm. about this fear of, you know, reaching our truest potential, a mm -hmm. fear of who we truly are, and that's why we're afraid to grow, mm -hmm. uh, why we are afraid to, um, you know, ignore the negative voices in one sense, question them, mm -hmm. and then, you know, take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we need those challenging situations. I'll put it this way. You cannot polish gems without an abrasive surface. Mm -hmm. You cannot become a diamond without intense heat and pressure, or you could say a stressful situation. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you don't undergo such tests mm -hmm. that when you actually have to take the larger 
big test, mm -hmm. you're not going to be ready for it. Mm -hmm. That's why teachers, they give us quizzes, sometimes mm -hmm. pop quizzes and tests so that we can actually pass the class, mm -hmm. the big test, so we can graduate. Mm -hmm. And so same thing with martial arts. Uh, you know, we used to watch a lot of boxing when I was a little kid. And so these guys in terms of martial arts or boxing and so forth, how do their bones get stronger mm -hmm. as they're punching? Mm -hmm. You know, there's little fractures that occur in the bones. So the, so the um, bone cells start to regrow in those areas, starts to repair those fractures to the point where in some individuals, their bones are as hard as steel. Mm -hmm. It's not some fragile, brittle thing because of the fracture. So as a human being, to grow and develop we need that bit of a catalyst, hmm. something that will prod us, something that will enthuse us in one sense to help us move forward, because otherwise we will remain stagnant. And as we know with water that is stagnant, if you all are live in areas where there's a large body of water that's stagnant, just like, for example, when we were little kids and on the west side of Detroit, you had that one neighbor, that one little kid that had the little kiddie pool, and then the water was just stagnant in there. <laughs> and then before you know it, that water was like, like muddy and black green. and stuff and green, right? <laughs> and so when you see water like that, yeah. it becomes a breeding ground for mosquitoes. Mm. It becomes a breeding ground of disease. Mm -hmm. So stagnation in one's life, that's where you start coming across people who are envious and jealous of others. They're always that crab that's pulling the other crab that's trying to make progress down. Mm. And they're the ones that are your hecklers, or as we say, those who have been drinking the uh, uh, haterade. haterade yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's those individuals who are stagnant, that are not growing. They cannot appreciate the hard work and effort and growth of another person. Mm. There may be some people that are neutral. I'm not going to say that that doesn't exist because some people are where they are and they're happy where they are. You know, mm -hmm. they're happy with their nappy for lack of a better word. Happy <laughs> with their nappy, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but we should always be trying or striving. Yeah. We should always be striving for the best of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We should always want the best for ourselves. Just like any parent wants the best for their child, one should also want the best for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, we should not, you know, that, that goes back to having this attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Just like if you said, hey, Swift, here's my car. I'll let you borrow it for, for a day or two or even for a week. If I appreciate mm -hmm. this opportunity, this situation, I'm going to not only make sure you had a full tank of gas, I'm going to make sure the car is clean and in a condition even better than what you gave it to me in. Mm. And so we've all been blessed with this human life. We've all been blessed with these circumstances or opportunities that we have in life. And one of the greatest ways to show appreciation is to actually take advantage of those moments and to grow and to progress. It's a great way to express you know, our appreciation for everything that our mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters and neighbors and everyone within society have actually done for us. Because mm -hmm. there's, you know, it's not that we're making progress on our own. We've been blessed and helped by so many people in the past. Mm -hmm. Like we were talking about a couple of weeks ago about all the different teachers mm -hmm. that we've had in school growing up that have actually helped us, whether it's in English or math and science and so mm -hmm. forth. It's like one of the greatest ways to express appreciation to those individuals is by, a, by us continuing to go forward. You know, it's like someone is passing you the baton mm -hmm. and to carry that baton, you know, going forward and continue to progress and develop as a human being. So I think it's actually a glorious, you know, opportunity to have some gains and striations. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> You know, to develop some vascularity. <laughs> <laughs> Vascular. <laughs> so it's, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if, 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 I'll put it this way. If, and I'll leave you with this example. Let's say, for instance, if 
there, if no one pushed themselves for personal development, or if no one wanted to see how they can improve themselves, think about the vehicles that we drive. Mm. We'll all, we'll <laughs> yeah, but that but do. I was gonna say <laughs> every vehicle that we drive will be just like the Flintstones. You'd be on the bottom, <laughs> running with the little legs. <laughs> now you have hybrid vehicles. Yeah, that's all because someone was thinking, how can we make improvements in vehicles, whether it's in comfort, whether it's in style, or whatever it may be. Yeah. So as we continue to push ourselves, that's like a flower that's continued to bloom beautiful leaves, beautiful petals, mm. and then that beautiful, sweet fragrance, mm. you know? And so we can all be, you know, that beautiful tree with beautiful fruits and flowers, mm -hmm. you know, that other trees can grow up under, mm. you know? So we can be examples and role models and mentors for other people when we do that. Otherwise, what example are we setting mm. If we remain stagnant, what are we telling everyone else? The grapes are sour. It's not even worth it, right? Yeah. No, life is worth it. We have an amazing opportunity. Yeah, no, you mentioned uh, several good points. Um, two, I wanted to, uh, one, you mentioned, brought this in another idea that I wanted to share is that there are some people in society, and uh, hopefully I'm not talking to one who is, because this is a direct shot at... at. <laughs> uh, but there are some people that say, just accept me as I am, you know, and they, and they have really no growth that they've done. They're working on old mental maps that they developed during childhood or they may have refined during school, uh, which still does not make them mature but they're, they, they still feel, accept me as I am. Why don't you accept me as I am? And Why like, don't you accept you as you are? Yeah, it's like if I, <laughs> like, and the thing is, <laughs> what people often don't like to acknowledge is that if they, someone treated them the same way they treat others, whether that's in a relationship or as a family member or as a coworker or whatever, a good number of people would, would not be happy with the way they're treated. No, they wouldn't. And so it is that short-sightedness, that desire not to grow, which, which, which stunts people. And we have this idea in the West, or maybe this is an entire world, where we're entitled. Mm. We're entitled to this is... This is what you get. <laughs> this is mm -hmm. take it, mm -hmm. take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take we're take it or leave it society. <laughs> Feel every piece. My way or the highway. <laughs> Feel every piece of this disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> so, Feel every piece of it. <laughs> and so we we don't we don't often put we don't often see ourselves in a proper light. Yeah, we true. have this very grandiose yeah, um, idea or conception of of us, mm -hmm. and because we have this 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 kind of exaggerated estimation of ourselves, why shouldn't people accept me the way I am? I'm fine the way I am. I don't need to change. You need to change. <laughs> uh, I'm not the problem, you're the problem. <laughs> exactly that, exactly, just like that too. <laughs> you know, it's just, there's, 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 there's only one side of the problem. There's no two sides, yeah. <laughs> and so we have, this, we have this idea and we never question ourselves. No. We never question ourselves. And I, I realized and I'm gonna put myself on blast because um, I thought to myself, I, I never, I was told twice, hey, you gotta wash your hands much longer than the time you wash them. And the first time I'm like, you're just, 
you're just saying that. You're just being rude or you're just uh, picking on me. Mm -hmm. You're whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I said, surely they don't know what they're talking about. And then I heard a second time. Oof. Different person? Different person. Oh. Different person. I said, oof. They don't even know each other. The, the two people. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, okay, so these are two different people. They don't have any correlation between each other. And this is the second time I heard this. All right, so I, I, let me let me actually think about maybe I need to wash my hands longer. <laughs> and so so I had to I had to think about it. Okay, so this this could be something an area opportunity, uh, area of growth, uh, yes. area of growth. And, but it's funny because the first person, uh, mind you, mind you, and this is, this is kind of the, um, the, this is how we get to the next, next topic. Um, but mind you, even though the person that originally said, Hey, you need to wash your hands longer. Um, they were very critical persons. Hmm. Hmm. Of everybody, hmm. so so you really couldn't take it personal. So I really couldn't take it personal because they 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 gave it to everybody. Everybody, okay, get some. So so in my mind, I was like, they do this to everybody. What do, what do they know? <laughs> They're not perfect themselves, you know. And so I disregarded an honest, blunt opinion. And the second time, I couldn't disregard it. I had to see some point of, mm, you know, truth. Mm -hmm. And it took my personal development to realize, okay, if more than one person has said this, different, and they don't even know each other, mm -hmm. then maybe this is something I need to work on. And if I don't work on this, then I'm actually creating problems because it is my lack of desire mm -hmm. to grow. Lack of desire or some people may have an aspect of laziness. You know? But yeah, lack of desire to grow. To think that one's cup is already full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so it, with, this, with this mindset, we, we often think that Nobody can tell me anything. Yeah. Uh, uh, philosopher Kanye West said, nobody can, what was it? Uh, well, he said it not in such PG words, but uh, you can't tell me nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and the thing is, is we're like that. For most people in society, who, who can tell me? Unless, unless, unless we're being glorified, Mm. Then you can mm. tell me that all day. I'll listen mm. to that. Mm. Praises, please. You know, <laughs> give me praises. But wow. don't dare, don't dare criticize me. Don't dare tell me anything wrong, mm. because in that sense, you are my enemy now because you have told mm. me something that mm. displeases me, mm. and because mm. I am displeased, you are now my enemy. Yeah, it's crazy that that's the thought that one has. Mm -hmm that, oh, you're going to critique me? You think you're better than me? You know, now you're my enemy. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's true. Wow. And so it is this, it is this idea that the short side of this immature idea that we, most of us in our 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, even 90s. Uh, and so we have... Um, we have this we have this thought that we're invincible mm. and as we and whenever we get tested somebody's questioning our invincibility mhm mm mhm mm mhm mm and we, so, never, we never think about, is that person right? I've heard it from multiple, multiple times. Is this person saying something truthful? And you mentioned something about uh, 
the pupa or the pupa, yeah, yeah. the caterpillar in the pupa stage and, uh, before it becomes a you know. So this uh, idea of learning and 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 the caterpillar is learning is in school while it's in the cocoon. It's in school. School of life. The school of life. So while we are born caterpillars, most of us either stay in the cocoon or we stay a caterpillar. Yeah. We, we try to fight the process. And you mentioned that teachers will sometimes, in school, those who've gone to school, will <laughs> say, hey, pop quiz. Yeah. Or hey, or this is, this quiz is on this date. And I used yeah. to hate pop quizzes. <laughs> I used to hate it. Because I didn't grasp the information well enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was only because I didn't grasp the information well enough, I hated pop quizzes. Mm. So whenever someone would, a uh, teacher would say, oh, time for pop quiz, close your books. No, no cl open book study. And I would just, I would be distraught. Mm. I'm not ready for this. Yeah. Here's, here's the, the test of, of how much I've understood. Mm. And now I am, I'm faced with, I don't really know much. I ain't, I ain't got, got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was, I've been calculating the moment <laughs> when that will be used. Yes. So, so we often think. <laughs> I've been waiting for that moment. Y'all just don't even know. I've been waiting for so long for days, weeks. <laughs> This, the right moment when the stars need to align for that to come. <laughs> I was waiting. So, <laughs> so we often get put in these positions where we have to evolve. Yeah. And, and most of us don't have it. And we fight the evolution. Things are ripped from our hands. Relationships mm. are ripped from our hands because we did not evolve. We're still mm. thinking the same way we thought last year, the year before last, as a child, and, and we're not questioning anything. Yeah. Well, you can keep going with that, meaning relationships get stripped from our hands. It reminds me of, um, no, actually, I'm going to ask a few more words. Mm -hmm. Relationships. Mm -hmm. You're... Um, your ability to understand things. Mm -hmm. So like learning, mm -hmm. um, your health gets stripped from you. Mm -hmm. Maybe your wealth and other property and other paraphernalia that you have gets mm -hmm. stripped away from you. You start losing everything. And it reminds me of that movie, The Never Ending Story, with those rock, those rock builder guys. His hands. It was like, these hands. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't save anyone, you know. Because the nothing took it. Mm. You know, our ability to grow, our ability to um, think of things outside the box, mm. you know, to consider and ponder other things. I think uh, there was a quote from Einstein. I will have to double check it, but basically, if you want a child to become a genius or become really smart, um, tell them fairy tales. It's like, you really want to become smart? Tell them more fairy tales. And I thought, that sounds strange. Why would you tell someone fairy tales? But it's about thinking about things that people would not dare think about. Mm. You know, to consider other possibilities. Yes, certain things may operate and function a certain way, but even consider things that may be possible even outside that. Mm. And to explore, you know, in other words, instead of becoming stagnant and remaining in that little bubble, mm -hmm. try to grow, try to expand, you know, try to learn more, see how you can grow. Again, uh, growth opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, um, go to that next level, become that, become super saiyan, mm -hmm. you know, uh, let your soul, soul glow, glow, you know, so it's, it's, um, it's really amazing, really amazing. So we have to question those negative thoughts that we have. 
because a lot of them do come from our childhood. The ones that we hear as adults, a lot of those negative thoughts come from our childhood, mm -hmm. where if we're in school, you know, we may hear that voice coming from over our head because maybe a teacher was saying to us that you have a short attention span or you're not good at this or you're always making the mistakes and this and that, you know, negative voices. Um, but we have to learn how to, especially as we're adults, hopefully, mm -hmm. I might be a little childish, but <laughs> as adults, we have to learn how to question those things. But then also, um, when we hear any type of critique from someone else, as you gave a very beautiful example about washing one's hands, or it could be any situation, um, to have the level of maturity, to be able to look at it and, and see, okay, what is truly being said? What is this message? And then how can I uh, apply it to my life? Mm. You know, and, and see how I can, again, make another step in my own personal growth, my own personal development, you know, becoming even a better person. So again, it's just, it just another beautiful example of, of your growth, you know, um, be all that you can be. <laughs> yeah. You know, like that, so <clears throat> keep growing. Yeah, and, and it, is, it is a function of the human body to, to grow. Yeah. Not just physically, but, but mentally. And I was thinking a lot of times we become, as we get older, we become set in our ways because we don't change. We don't, we don't allow for, for growth. That's why one becomes old. Mm. The mentality is old and worn out. Mm. You're right, because when you see someone who is in a, a more mature body, an older body, but they are... Like your mom. Age-wise, she may be older, but she's so youthful. My mom the same way. Mm. She may be older, but you can see, like, the way our parents, think, mm. especially our moms, think, you know, like, they, they're just, like, so youthful. Like, they're present. Yeah. They're in the present. Yeah. They're not in living in the past, like, oh, I used to be like this, I used to be like that, you mm -hmm. know? But they're in the moment. They're constantly growing, mm -hmm. you know, in their own personal lives, so. And, and you mentioned that point, is that the people become, the older we get, we become more youthful by the more open and the more we mm -hmm. responsible, the more mm -hmm. loving, the more thoughtful, yeah. the more generous we become. Yeah. These characteristics, the, like, somehow or another, these are qualities in which enrich others around us, and therefore, we don't think about age. Mm -hmm. When somebody is really sweet to us, yeah. or somebody takes time, like, how are you doing? Are you okay? And, uh, and they, they really want to know What's happening? And those individuals, and there's a word in Sanskrit called nava yovana, meaning ever youthful, ever fresh. Mm. Things spiritually don't get stale. Mm. So when we're continuously, I remember I was listening to a, a lecture the other day, and the gentleman was mentioning how uh, when it comes to love or pursuing a relationship, you know, love with someone, it says everything starts with wonder. Mm. Just like uh, Jim Rohn's. We're tying yeah. some Jim mm -hmm. Rohn's. Mm -hmm. You have to have mm -hmm. the curiosity of a child. Yes. You know, always wanting to know and learn. If we have that, then we're always staying youthful. Mm. But if we do not inquire, or ask questions, or we're not mm. even curious, when, then we're almost like, I'm going to toss out something else. The, there's a book by Edgar Allan Poe called The Fall of the House of Usher. And you see how the person, you, you, the, the, the character, main, one of the main characters in the story, as they're approaching the house, you see like this huge mansion is like dilapidated, falling apart, roof is all deteriorating and crumbling and so forth. Everything is just nasty and messy and junky externally wise. 
And you go inside and you see that that's how that person is inside. Mm. And that the external environment is really a reflection of what's actually going on internally. And so our, as we were talking weeks and so forth ago about if someone is frustrated or tense or angry, how it shows up externally, maybe mm. in facial expressions, body language and so forth, how they, even when someone is angry and they're cooking in anger, you can taste their consciousness in the food as well, mm -hmm. compared to someone who was happy and you know jovial. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, not saying that the body doesn't age, but it also is a reflection of one's consciousness mm -hmm. too. Because you can see that um, I, I want to say something, but it may not necessarily be appropriate to say at this moment. Okay. But I will just simply say this: that um, you know, if if we stay youthful in our thinking mm -hmm. and I'm not saying uh, naive because you still maintain yeah. your maturity you know you look at everything properly you put things in proper perspective but if we maintain that childlike curiosity um, of constantly learning and, and constantly thinking about um, how we can go deeper in our relationships whether it's with our spouse or other loved ones family friends and so forth then we will always remain ever youthful, ever fresh mm. in our life, in our appearance, mm. in our health, and so forth like that. Because otherwise, if we're stagnant and we're just like that person that in Edgar Allan Poe's book, you know, Paula House of Usher, then we just start losing everything, mm. you know. And, it's, and the only person we have to blame is ourselves. Hmm. Yeah. It's no one else's fault. Right. It's because we did not make that choice. E40, what did he say? The great philosopher E40. Everybody, Everybody got, got choices. choices. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody got choices. So yeah. the choice is yours. <laughs> <laughs> Good old 90s cartoons. <laughs> um, yeah, so in order to, so we'll conclude here. I, we didn't get to transition too much into turning negativity uh, to positivity. Um, well, so we'll do that next week. But um, I, hopefully we didn't offend anybody with our, our statements, uh, opinions, uh, perspectives from the, the uh, NLP book and also from the world-renowned uh, personal developers. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we pray that you see it as an opportunity for growth as well. Yeah, because as we're speaking, you know, we have these conversations on a regular basis. We're including you in this sacred space, mm -hmm. um, and you know, I'll just say this: it's always nice to have that um, support. You know, sometimes you have to remind yourself of certain things, um, mm -hmm. just like you, like mm -hmm. someone may say, to write is to remember. And so if you want to remember certain things, if we want to remind ourselves of personal development, things to look at, because, hey, you may be reading something that I didn't come across yet, mm -hmm. and you're sharing that with me. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing, or, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. And so we have to remind ourselves, you know, to stay awake as they say, to mm -hmm. always be mindful and attentive in, um, on the road of life. We mm -hmm. don't want to fall asleep at the will. Yeah. So, you know, so, so, it's, so as you were rightly pointing out, please, uh, we do not mean any harm or we do not mean to sound offensive if it comes off that way. And I, I we truly deeply apologize if that may, uh, if you may feel offended, but we just simply want to of course, encourage and enthuse each other in personal development, but also share that enthusiasm with you as well as you are progressing in your life. And so for those that do appreciate the, the subject matter, please uh, like it, share it, and please comment uh, because it's always really nice to see your guys' thoughts. And um, until next week, flex. Flex! <laughs> <laughs>